All right, hello everyone. Now we're gonna go over combining like terms or simplifying expressions. And so when doing this, um, I think this is generally a simple concept to grasp because you're literally just combining the terms that look alike, all right? So in number one, I'm gonna start by identifying those terms that look alike to me. So I see I have a negative three M here, then a plus seven. That seven does not have an M, so that doesn't look the same to me. But here I do have another M, specifically a negative six M, and then back here we have another M, a plus two M. All right, so see each of these terms have an M, so those are my like terms that I'm able to combine. All right, that means that positive seven and that negative four are also like terms because they don't have a variable, right? We know what seven minus four is, right? So besides identifying the like terms, the other key part here, you guys, is that you always keep the sign in front of the number, right? So like notice how here I said this is a positive seven because there's a plus in it, right? I said this is a negative six M because there's a negative in front of the term. Right, this is a negative four, again, because there's a negative in front of it. And this last one is a positive two M, again, because it's a plus sign, it's telling us it's positive. All right, so when we rework this out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine those like terms of negative three M minus six M plus two M. And then we're gonna also add seven and then subtract four. All right, so all I did there was I wrote my like terms next to each other, right? This way now I have all of my M's written next to each other and then the numbers without the variables. All right, so negative six M, I'm sorry, negative three M minus six M would give us negative nine M, but then we still have to add two M. So that gives us negative seven M. All right, again, negative three minus six gives us negative nine plus two gives us negative seven M. All right, then our other two like terms, we had a positive seven and then a minus four. And again, seven minus four is three. Since it's a positive three, we put plus three. All right, so we get negative seven M plus three as our answer for the first one. All right, for number two, we're still combining our like terms. We're still simplifying. Right, but in order to simplify number two, we have to get rid of these parentheses first. And remember, we get rid of parentheses by distributing. All right, so here, lots of things we have to keep remembering. All right, we have to know that even though there's not a number here, all right, it's like there's an imagine, imaginary one there. But in this case, it's actually a negative one, right? Because that negative is in front of it. So like I'm saying, we're distributing that negative one. So the five is still there. We didn't do anything with it. But now distributing negative one times 11, we get negative 11. And then here we have to be careful because we're multiplying two negatives, right? We're multiplying this negative one times negative N. And remember two negatives give us a positive. So now we have plus N, All right? From there, hopefully we see we have two more like terms we can combine. All right, five minus 11 gives us negative six, and then we still have our plus n. So our final answer is negative six plus n. And again, and hopefully we realize that's as simple as our answer can go because negative six and n are two completely different terms. All right, that's what we said back up in number one. All right, this has a variable, this doesn't, so that's a simple, sorry, this, is a variable that one doesn't have a variable meaning they're different we can't combine them and that is as simple as our answer will go right so for number three i see parentheses so the first thing we should do is distribute right there's really just a positive one in front of the first set of parentheses so distributing a positive one is going to keep everything the same we still have r plus six but in our second set of parentheses we're distributing a negative one there so negative one times three R gives us negative three R. And then we have our negative one times positive 21, which gives us negative 21. I guess from here again, we just have to look at our like terms. 
So we can see I have an R here. I see another R there, which leaves the 6 and the negative 21 to be separate. All right, so again, looking at these like terms, R minus 3R, that gives us negative 2R. Right, then our other like terms is a positive 6 and minus 21, right? We keep the signs in front of our numbers. So we have 6 minus 21, which gives us negative 15. All right, you guys, hopefully that all helped. I'm going to post another one with a little bit more complicated examples to go with it. And yeah, have a great day.